Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you what to do if you get the message an error occurred while attempting to create the directory on Windows 11 and how to fix it in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the DISM and SFC scans. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. And now in the command prompt window, make sure to copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time so don't lose patience. Afterwards just restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run the program install and uninstall troubleshooter. Now to do this, open up an instance of your default browser then access the link that I posted in the description below. This is the official Microsoft program install and uninstall troubleshooter and once you access the link you'll be given the direct file to download. In here just select your desktop because it's easier to access the file, click on save, wait until it's downloaded, then simply run this file. And you'll see that the troubleshooter will try to diagnose if you have any issues and it will ask you if you have a problem installing or uninstalling a program. Now just select one option and Windows will further try to detect any issues and it will help you select which is the program that you have problems with. Let's say we will select it, then click on next. Now once it completes, you'll be presented with two options. You can try to either uninstall or try other fixes and then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to adjust folder permissions. Now to do this, I'll just show you with a random folder the example. It doesn't matter if you have a problematic folder, just right click on it, then select properties, then head over to the security tab and in here make sure to choose your username as the one that will control this process. So in order to do this, let's just click on edit to change permissions. Now in here, if you do not have your name as a username, make sure to click on add and you'll see that usually your name will show up with no problem. But if you have any issues, just click on the advanced button and then select find now. This will show you all the list with all the names and users that are on your desktop. Now choose your username, click on OK, then click on OK once again. In here you'll be set to allow or deny full control depending on your preference. Now just click on apply and OK to save the changes and you're good to go. Then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to perform a clean boot. To do this, press the Windows button, type in msconfig and select system configuration from the search result. Now in here, click on the services tab, then tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services and then select the disable all button. Next, what you have to do is click on the startup tab, then click on open task manager. In here, make sure to disable all the unnecessary programs, then close this window, click on apply and OK to save the changes, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.